me. Machius is there frowning. Eusis is frowning. Fee is frowning. Yeah. But Emma's just happy as ever. Hey everyone, welcome back to more Legend of Heroes, Trails of Gold Steel. I'm Slayer Mathis, and last time, we took care of a boss fight. As in, it mostly took care of us, but it's fine. We ended up killing in the end, and this time, I gotta go and report for that. Yeah! Whoa, it's huge! This is Orox Fort, one of the Kreutzen Provincial Army's premier bases. Not how I was expecting it to look. They modified an older fort. A lot. Is something wrong, Eusis? No, not at all. Let's go and give our report on the monster we defeated. Hmm? It does look quite impressive, but... Yusuf's reaction makes it seem like there's something off, but who knows? We'll find out something eventually. Isn't that... It, it's... a freight train from Bereahard? Looks like it's carrying tanks. Pretty heavily armored ones at that. Those are the latest models from the Reinford Company. They're called Oxen. Uh, how? Come on. We have things to do. Gosh, why does he have to be so... Ah! He's right, though. We really should keep moving. Yeah. Eusis does not seem to be happy about that right now, but, I mean, we don't know what's going on, so let's just make a report. Who goes there? Wait, aren't those uniforms? We're members of Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. We completed a monster extermination task on your behalf and have come to give our report. Oh, so you're the ones. We've been expecting you. You'll forgive my curtness, we just didn't think you'd have someone so young with you as well. <laughs> um, so, we were able to defeat the monster in question. Do you require a written report, or is verbal confirmation okay? Oh no, that's fine. You were really able to beat that thing, though? Somehow or another, yes. It wasn't easy, but we managed. Huh, not bad. Not bad at all. We probably should have taken care of it ourselves, but it was a pretty dexterous thing, so we just kind of let it be. It wasn't tough enough to cause any of us any harm, as long as we were in our armored cars when we encountered it. But still, it took a bit of convincing for us to ask a group of students to fight it, as you might imagine. I can understand that. <laughs> well, it provided a good opportunity for us to test our skills. Hmm? Wait. Oh! Lord Eusis! What brings you? Ah, th that uniform... are you...? Correct. I've returned to Bereahard as part of a field study for the Academy. I'm here as a student, not as a member of the Alberea household. Please treat me accordingly, the same as you would my classmates. Uh, as you wish. As you wish, Lord Eusis. Wow. <laughs> Looks like even the Provincial Army will miss a chance to bend over backwards for him. I would like to know, however, about the contents of that train that just passed by here. Ah, you saw it? Our Provincial Army has finally started getting supplied with tanks. Isn't it exciting? Armored cars can't hope to compete with tanks in terms of firepower, after all. We can't let the Imperial Army be stronger than us forever. I see. The fort also appears to have been fortified quite significantly. Ah, yes. Some rather sizable construction work was carried out just last month. It'll take more than a little cannon fire to damage these walls now. Our anti-air defenses are going to be strengthened in the near future, too. This should soon become a fort we soldiers of the Kreutzen province can truly be proud of. You can count on that. I will. And with that, I believe we are done here. We should take our leave. Okay. It is almost evening, after all. Roger that. 
Yeah, Yusis really doesn't seem all too happy about what's going on, but, uh... These guys seem quite happy about it. I wonder why they need to, you know, fortify this, because they're basically just like the police, aren't they? Oh well. One thing we want to do is head into the uh, rest area, the Crescent Moon Inn. First of all, we want to talk to Fumi. I'm getting called out here pretty frequently these days. I've been so busy, I haven't really had the time to sit down and enjoy this book. You all seem like you'll have the time to enjoy it, so here. Red Moon Rose, Chapter 4. Which, I believe... Okay. I, I couldn't remember if we had all of those. Uh, in addition, we can rest up here. Uh, we can make both of these, I think. Right? Yeah. Um. You know what? I'm going to save the money and just try not to run into any more battles. I think that's a valid strategy. Wait. What is the meaning of this? Machias? <sighs> if we were on the border with Crossbell or the Republic, maybe I could understand. But why does the provincial army here need state-of-the-art tanks? Not to mention anti-air defenses and countless other fortifications. It's utter madness! Machias. He makes a good point. Can you truly be so ignorant? This is the reality of the present situation within the Empire. Tensions between Osborne's reformist faction and our noble faction grow worse by the day. Though admittedly, it's been happening mostly under the surface, away from the eyes of the general populace. But this is just one of the many ways that conflict is manifesting itself. I'd heard rumors, but... No doubt my father was the one who ordered these fortifications. I have no intention of giving any comments of my own on his decision. But if you wish to lodge a complaint, I'm quite happy to listen. So? No, it's fine. The sun's going down. We should get back to Bereahard. Yeah. Let's go, then. They seem to be getting along at least a little bit more. Um... This feels like the music's a little bit loud. But maybe I'm just going deaf. I don't know. The voices just seem really quiet for some reason. I don't know, it's... Overall, quite odd. I believe we should be fine. Foe. Stay on guard. Run past this wardar. What's that? It sounds like a siren. It seems to be coming from the fort. V, what's? What was that? Are birds like that coming on here? Imbecile. That was no bird. It looks like someone was riding on it. Yeah, I think it was a child, actually. What? Are you certain? Go to my build, yeah. I didn't get a good look at the face, so I can't be 100% sure, but I think so. Unbelievable. Lord Eusis, were you on your way back to Bereheart? What is all this commotion? What's the meaning of that siren? Well, you see, moments ago, moments ago we came aware of an intruder in Oroch's fort. You don't mean the silver thing that flew past us? Y you saw it? Which direction did it go? It flew off to the southwest mere moments ago, at a rather significant speed. Damn. If you'll please excuse us, do take care, Lord Eusis. They won't catch it. Does seem unlikely. What could that have been, though? It's a very good question. That's capable of flying, that's not an airship. I've never heard of any flying device beside one. This is a matter for the army. We should trust in them to handle it. We're students visiting here for our studies. We're under no obligation but to do the provincial army's job for them. Besides which, we have our own hands full with our own tasks. 
don't know if that is true, but it would do no harm to mention this incident to our court. It is noteworthy, after all. Yeah. Oh, on another note, my shoulder seems to have healed completely. I feel ready to rejoin the front line. Are you certain? I find it hard to believe such a significant injury could heal so quickly. You have some kind of alien constitution? I'm pretty sure I don't. I think Emma's grandmother's medicine was really effective. Yeah, that must be it. I'm just glad you're alright. So, things get even more interesting with the mysterious silver flying object thing. Just keep running. Uh, what is it? Is it? The next bridge has the wolves. You can just run past. I... I still don't really like turbo mode that much, but it does make, you know, having to run back and forth from places a lot easier. We're finally back. <sighs> My feet are killing me. Yes, we can, I mean, see Berea hard right now, so... Yeah. Just quick jog a little bit more. Just about sundown. I guess that means our field study activities are done for the day. Thank goodness for that. I'm exhausted. And I'm starving. Whatever that strange flying object was, doesn't seem to have come anywhere near the main thoroughfare, at least. Fortunately not. The city wouldn't be this calm if it had. Yeah, it's probably long gone by now. We should head back to the hotel before it gets dark. There's a lot to put in our daily reports today, after all. Indeed. We can figure out how to best summarize the day's events over dinner. And so we shall, but... First things first... We need to... Well, we have a quest to turn in. Because remember, we still have that optional quest from... Uh, Hassan to get some salt. And he is right over here. Oh, Lord Yusus might assume that you've... That's correct. Here. Thank you very much. Let me to hand this over as your reward, then. Refusing to accept it would be rather rude, I suppose. Thank you very much. My apologies for our rudeness earlier. Earlier. Yeah. It's getting amazing how much the attitude changes for you, since there's nine influences. Family holds here, and we get rid of that quest. I believe that leaves us done for the day. I don't remember if there's a hidden quest here. Doesn't look like it. At least, not today. So, I'm going to hope that I didn't miss anything. Head into the hotel. Just, we're done. That's... Father. Huh? What? What? I'm terribly sorry for not coming to greet you, Father. Though I'm here for about a short time, I use them to do enough. As I informed Rufus, you may do as you wish while you're here. How about you will do nothing that brings shame upon myself, nor upon the Alborea name. Please be ever mindful of your position and what you represent. Yes, Father. It would be too much to ask for you to introduce yourself to my class. I have no time for pleasantries. Should I require anything of you, you will be contacted. What was that all about? See, that's not really... It's the almighty Duke Alborea, wasn't it? The head of one of the four great houses and the man in charge of this entire province. Indeed. By some strange twist of fate, my father as well. I've spoken out of turn. Forget I said that. Today's workload has made me hungry. Shall we return to our rooms and then find something to eat? Sounds good to me. I'm starving. Ah, <sighs> the 
Breeze here feels wonderful. <laughs> the food was delicious too. Agreed. I can see why this restaurant is popular with the nobles. Do you dine here often, Yusis? I do. The chef has been good to me since I was a child. I was practically raised on this food. How typical. Even in your dining habits, you nobles subsist on unnecessary luxury. Though I can't deny the quality of the food. It wasn't just tasty, but warm, too. Yes. For a high-class restaurant, the chef seems to have used a lot of very healthy ingredients. Perhaps he's doing his part to ensure Yusis stays in good health. I wouldn't doubt it. I, I wonder what Group B is doing right now. <laughs> we had this exact same conversation in our group last month, too. I'm sure they're hard at work over in St. Ark. Probably nothing to worry about. It was Keldic for you last month, right? So you were thinking of us on the first night? Yeah. After dinner, we were wondering how Group B was getting on, dare I ask? Uh, well... Nowhere near as peacefully as now. This is a big improvement. I... kind of figured that much. We are doing much better this time, that much is true. Huh, and I'm sure our reports will reflect that. It is an improvement, though I'm not convinced it's good enough. It... it's not? I'm certain Group B gave their absolute best in all of their tasks today. But can we honestly say the same? That we could have done no better? And I'm referring not just to the monster encounter, but to the handling of our other tasks as well. Hmm... We'll just have to try and make up for it in the day we have left. Besides, we have the chance to catch sight of a far bigger problem. Yes, that's true. First we find out taxes are rising throughout the province. Then we find out the military is being expanded on a grand scale. Don't even try to tell me the two aren't related. I have no intention of denying it. But you're only looking at one side of the coin. Exactly how many Oxen tanks do you think the Imperial Army has under their control? Well... A hundred or two, I'd guess. Precisely. The Imperial Army's military capabilities are enormous. This nation has one of the most powerful armed forces on the continent and roughly 70% of it is under the Chancellor's control. Tell me, how is the Noble Alliance supposed to counter that? So you're suggesting that's why the Provincial Army needs to bolster its forces? Considering both sides are comprised of Erebonians, it all seems so wasteful. Ah, oh, the travails of youth! How noble and beautiful they are! It's you. Baron Blue Blanc, I believe? It's such an honor that you would remember a mere baron. I see you completed a hard day's work already. How splendid! Yes, nearly. What about you? Alas, I have yet to be blessed with the fateful encounter I seek. The search for beauty is filled with perils and obstacles, yet that is precisely what makes it all so beautiful. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. <laughs> I most certainly will. Though it truly is a pity that the clear air of this verdant city should be tinged, if but faintly, with the scent of steel. <laughs> I'd heard that Duke Alborea was a man of many interests, but I was unaware he counted playing with fire among them. I don't condemn him for it, though, for only by playing with fire can one create fireworks. Would you not agree, my friends? I don't like your implications. And I think this whole line of conversation is a little inappropriate. Oh, please do pardon me, young lady. I meant no harm, I assure you. I wish you well on your remaining day here. May you reveal to me the beauty I seek by its end, be it the lovely luster of success, or the sad splendor of failure. <sighs> Who does he think he is? This is why I can't stand nobles. <laughs> I thought you might say that. If it makes you feel better, though, I have my doubts as to whether that man truly is a noble to begin with. What? His behavior seems so exaggerated. Almost as if he's trying to act like the quintessential noble. 
Like he's fulfilling the stereotype. Yeah, something about him feels off to me too. But what's even stranger is that he knew we only have one day left here. It, you're right. We told him of our field study, but never once did we divulge how long we intended to remain here. Between him and that silver object, we've been crossing paths with a lot of strange people today. Well, tomorrow's the end of our stint here. We can't let ourselves get distracted. We still have a lot to do. That's right. We have to do our group proud. <laughs> exactly. We should return to the hotel and begin work on our reports then. 